Anyway, so I want to talk to you about TM, which I have now been doing um, 41 years. 40, 41 years. I don't remember exactly how I started. Um, it was a, some kid I knew. I had just gone to college, and uh, you know we were still kind of in the flush of the feeling of the 60s, and I just wanted to try any new thing that I heard about. And uh, so I went and I, and I learned TM, and I do remember the very first time I did it, and I remember that I was up the entire night because I never felt that good before. And I had terrible acne. I was, I think I was about 18. And it, it just, it all just went away. And, uh, and I became a world famous comedian. That's my story. That's the entire story of my life. And now here's the tragic part of my TM story. Slightly tragic. So I'm doing TM from 1972, and I started, and I didn't do the morning one. You're supposed to do it twice a day. And I stopped doing the morning one pretty early in me doing it, because I didn't understand getting out of bed and then resting. <laughs> I had trouble with that concept. You get out of bed, now rest. OK, so I don't know, maybe I did it for a couple of months, and then I just stopped. But I was very regular with my afternoon meditation. And um, when I was doing the TV series, in which I was um, um, the star of the show, <laughs> the executive producer, the head writer, casting and editing for 22 to 24 episodes on network television, not cable, <laughs> network for nine years, okay? That's a lot of work. And I'm a regular guy, pretty much. You know, I'm not one of these crazy people that has endless, boundless energy. I'm just a normal guy. But that was not a normal situation to be in. And so what I would do is every day when everybody would have lunch, I would do TM. And then while we'd go back to work, and then I would eat while I was working, because I had missed lunch. But that is how I survived the nine years. It was that 20 minutes in the middle of the day would save me. Because, you know, and you also you gotta imagine, and I don't, I don't, I know everybody's life is hard and every job is hard, and I, but I mean, when it's your name on the goddamn show, the pressure is, it's, it's intense. And then the show got successful, and everybody expected each week to be even better than the last. And it was a lot of pressure. And I loved every second of it, but it was a lot of pressure and a lot of work, and it was all great, but never could have accomplished it without TM. But I was not doing the morning one, as I told you. <laughs> and this past January, Bob Roth, who everybody loves, he taught my kids TM. And so one day we were standing in my kitchen, and I was, I don't know, I was telling about something that I was doing, and he says, you know, you really should try doing the morning one. 41 years in, <laughs> I find out I'm not doing it right. <laughs> That's the tragic part of the story. <laughs> oh. So now I do the morning one, and now, okay, so my life now, which is, you know, I apologize. I don't like to take up too much time. But, you know, so I've got a wife. I've got three kids. I do stand-up comedy almost every weekend. I, I fly out Friday. I'll do a show in one city. Then I'll fly to another city. I'll do a show in another city. I'll come back, like, Saturday night at, like, 4 or 5 in the morning. And then I have three little kids. And, uh, and I do this other little Internet show. And so I'm very busy. And now, and I'm 60 by the way, I'm 60 years old. And I really thought, well, it's the time has come. I'm 60, the time has come to kind of throttle back the output that I'm, you know, of life. I, I need to work less, I need to do less, 
uh, because I'm old and, you know, let's cut the engines and glide a little bit. <laughs> well, so Bob introduced me, which I should have known 40 years ago, but I didn't, to the morning TM. And my entire energy and focus and ability to function all day and come home and have the family. I'm a 60-year-old guy with little kids. It's all screwed up. <laughs> it shouldn't be like this. And now I am functioning on this level that I really did not think was possible for someone my age. And at the, you know, I just thought it would be too much. So that's how my life changed dramatically this year, meeting Bob and doing TM properly. And um, I, I can't tell you, uh, and, I, and I've become obsessive also talking to people about it. I've, my my uh, press officer is here. I got him to do it. I, I got my assistant. Every person I meet now, I'm just grabbing them by the lapels and going, you got to do this. Because it's, um, it's just a dumb way to live not doing it. <laughs> it's just dumb. I'll quote a line from Richard Pryor. This is one of my favorite lines. It's, it's, a, it's actually from a bit he did about racism. And he starts the bit and he says, before we even talk about racism, he says, you know, it's hard just being a person. <laughs> Forget about having to deal with racial hostility. Just being a person is hard. And that, that would be my introduction to people who don't think they need TM. Being a person is hard. Now, all these people that we just saw, these are people that really ha have some enormous challenges, but all of you here, uh, by virtue of the fact that you're here, I know you're, you're slamming it. You're killing yourself. And that's fun and great, but you don't need to die for what you want to accomplish. <laughs> and that's what TM is about. And uh, Bob and I did a show. We did, I think it was ABC uh, Good Morning America. And I came up with the line that TM is like you have a cell phone and someone gives you the charger. <laughs> and you go, oh, <laughs> this is, now I can keep using this thing and it will work all the time. The, the other way that I describe it, so are there are a lot of people here that don't do TM? That are just, are just here to kind of learn a little bit about it? Okay, so the other way I'll describe it to you is then I can see from the faces who does it and who doesn't do it, by the way. <laughs> the other way I will describe TM to you is, do you know how three days a year you get a good night's sleep? <laughs> and you wake up and feel like, oh, this is how I should feel all the time. But the, you can't get more than three good night's sleeps a year because of the circumstances of your life. Well. TM, you can, you can have that every day. That every day, you're just, the, the bar on the cell phone is all the way up. You leave the house and you, the charger is full. You know that tremendous feeling of power when your phone is fully charged? <laughs> and somebody calls and you go, I want to hear every detail of this story. I am loaded with juice. That, that's what TM is. I will now take questions. <laughs> I will. Is there anything you want to ask? I'll take a couple of questions. They told me just to do five minutes. I think I just did it. But anything you want to ask me about TM? I do it. And here's the other thing that's crazy. OK, here's a crazy TM thing. Well, look, I, I'm only getting five hours sleep as it is. I'm not going to get up earlier than that to do TM. It, it works. It's better. You'll get. You'll feel better sleeping four and a half hours and doing that twenty, because that's deeper than anything you're getting. When you're sleeping, look at your bed when you get out of it. What does it look like? It looks like a war went on in there. And that's not restful. All you did was stop, and you took the fight from your day into the bed. But you're fighting all day, you're fighting all night. You need a break, folks. You need a break. That's what TM is. Thank you very much.